If we've got these three situations where you're in an elevator, in this one, the net force, if I add up these two force vectors, I get a force vector, a net force vector that's pointing downward. So I'm gonna say that the net force is down here. In this one, the net force is zero because the force up exactly cancels the force down. The floor is pushing on you just as much as gravity is pulling you downward. So I say that the net force is zero. In this one, there's a net force upward. So I can write that the net force is up. You might have a net force that's down when during an elevator path. Let's see. If the net force is down, then that means your acceleration's direction is down. When would you want to accelerate down? Well, obviously, if you're starting from rest and you want to go down to get some ice from the ice machine, they don't have an ice machine on every floor, so you want to go down to get some ice. So that would mean that you're starting a downward trip. And I guess uh, it would make sense to look at the opposite situation where there's a net force upward here. That means the floor is pushing up on you really hard, but gravity's not pulling you down quite as hard. So there's a net force upward. That means the acceleration is upward. And you could be starting, what kind of trip now? You just got your eyes, right? Heading back up to the room, starting an up trip. Now this, this is an equilibrium. So you could be steadily moving up or steadily moving down or just sitting there waiting for other schmucks to get on the elevator, etc. You might not be moving at all or you could be moving steadily either direction. So I won't put anything under here because it's a very general situation. But the key is you don't feel any different than if you were just sitting outside on your porch because you don't experience any acceleration. When your body accelerates, your body senses that. For instance, starting a down trip, do you feel heavy or do you feel light? Hmm. What about starting an upward trip? Do you feel heavy or do you feel light? There's another possibility. You could be starting a downward trip or stopping an upward trip. If you're going up, if you were going up in an elevator and you reach your floor, you feel light, right? That's the experience of this picture right here. Or stopping an up trip. And then I'll also note that you feel light. over here. This could be starting an up trip or stopping a down trip. Let's see if that makes sense. If you're going down to get some ice and you arrive at that floor, do you feel that? That you feel heavy as you're stopping? Yeah, stopping a down trip. Cool, and in that case, you feel heavy.